whatever they've been using at the funny farm to spike my food had done bad things to my brain box. Santa! Sorry to get you out of your bed. Oh, it wasn't in my bed. I was just stuffing the cat. This know who he is. He becomes whoever pops into his head. Yeah, he's looking at you, Mrs. Napier. Batman's goons! Stay here, but be careful. You too, Bogey. If I whistle, look behind you. Yeah? I'll keep your lips in shape for later. Robbie Coltrane plays the Bogeyman tomorrow at 9.25 on 2. This is BBC Two. Oh, yeah. Ferdinand de Bougas, yes. Oh, Bowler, weren't I? The cyber zone. Reality is for wimps. It's handy to carry a few huge packs of chewing gum. Sean, mm. <laughs> you, Sean, you! It's Sean, 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 Sean! It was Jim Phil. But he's the order to break. He had the flu, so Jim filled in. Phil who? Uh, Phil Jim. He's the night watcher. <laughs> You were flushing on empty? Well, they won't like that. It affects the ozone layer. Oh, but that's okay. We don't live anywhere near that. <laughs> it's hot, it's steamy, and it's going to be coming down your tube soon. to the Buzzcocks, from the Hollies to the Stone Roses, local boy Alexi Sale takes us on a magical mystery tour around the music of Granada. There, big talent, rock and roll, Chip Butty, Vera Duckworth, Newton and Ridley's, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Northwest of England. There's a certain atmosphere to these towns, a je ne sais quoi, a certain comme des garçons. Liverpool, Manchester, Bolton, Ormskirk, names that are redolent of, well, towns in the Northwest of England. And there's one company that captured the atmosphere the franchise, and most important of all, the music of the region. A company so famous that the Ford Motor Company named a car after it. The Northwest was jive central. It was the happening place for all neat, reet, petite, beat freaks who had a taste for the bass and a head for the highs and the verbal reasoning powers of a credulous llama. In those days, cotton was still king and the mills were alive with the sound of music. So much music, in fact, that all a Granada film crew had to do was to take a walk in the streets or hop on a train to record rattling good times and raving rock and roll. This was an everyday scene on the 757 Manchester Victoria to Preston service, calling a Kearsley, Adlington and Chorley, often subject to delays caused by blues singers on the line. For in the blues wailing us north, all white-collar commuters made sure they had their mojos working before they left home. Yeah. 
When you got something, yeah, that's when you got something, that's when you have got something. Ooh. I want you to shake it, baby. I want you to shake it one time. I want you to shake it one time for yourself, yeah. I want you to shake it 
but don't break it. Ooh, you can shake it one time for Jerry Lee Lewis. Yeah. But soon the Northwest had its very own sound. The Mercy Beat, a beat that started here, or somewhere a bit like it, and went on to capture the world. Suddenly it seemed as if everybody in Liverpool with a guitar had a one-way ticket to the toppermost of the poppermost. <laughs> Essentially, it was a blend of American beat culture, French existentialism, and a Weltschmerz of German neo-expressionism. It was the very soul of the post-war industrial zeitgeist, cocking a snook at bourgeois pretensions. The times were out of joint. The dream of mid-20th century capitalism had faded, and everywhere alienated young rebels were ready to stand up and be counted. We demand a new world, they cried. We demand a fair deal. We demand funny haircuts and black polo necks. We demand Japanese wives and vegetarian dogs. We all live in a yellow submarine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today, all my troubles seem so far away. Now and here is another familiar song, given an unfamiliar today. twist. Oh, I believe in yesterday. By the mid-60s, Granada Land had become almost a shrine to visiting musicians from all over the world. Bob Dylan came here, Jimi Hendrix came here, and Janis Joplin went by that waste paper bin over there. Two such pilgrims, a young American folk duo named Simon and Garfunkel, perhaps now better known as Shorty and the Strange One, were sitting on a railway station in Widnes, a small Lancashire town. Paul Simon had a ticket for his destination. They were on a tour of one-night stands, their suitcase and guitar in hand. This is absolutely true, this. Suddenly, Paul Simon was inspired. He pulled out a bit of paper and a pencil, and he quickly wrote a song. Sadly, Witness, wonderful Witness, the wibbly-wobbliest town you'll ever see, has become all but forgotten, even by the people of Witness. But the song he wrote a few minutes later has become a kind of anthem for anybody who knows three chords and plays in a wine bar on a Thursday night. Granada was amongst the first to capture it. I'm sitting in the railway station, got a ticket for my destination. On a tour of one night stands, my suitcase and guitar in hand And every stop is neatly planned for a poet and a one-man band Homeward bound, I wish I was Homeward bound Home, where my thoughts are skipping home Where my music's playing home Where my love lies waiting silently for me Every day is an endless stream of cigarettes and magazines mm -hmm. And each town 
looks the same to me The movies and the factories And every stranger's face I see Reminds me that I long to be Homeward bound I wish I was Homeward bound Oh, when my thoughts escape at home When my music's playing home Where my love lies waiting silently for me Tonight I'll sing my songs again I'll play the game and pretend mm -hmm. But all my words come back to me In shades of mediocrity Like emptiness and harmony I need someone to comfort me Homeward bound Wish I was homeward bound Oh, when my thoughts are skipping home When my music's playing home When my love lies waiting silently for me Silently for me Stand by. Hold on. Mark it. Well, tomorrow, the future of music. Scene one, take one. <laughs> Riding along on a carousel, trying to catch up to you. Riding along on a carousel. Will I catch up to you? Horses chasing, cause they're racing So near yet so far On a carousel On a carousel Near and near by changing horses Still so far away Fighting for their places, just get in my way. Soon you leave and then I'll lose you. Still we're going round on a carousel, on a carousel. Nothing interesting happened for the next 10 years. Punk was invented in February 1976 by my mate Byron. Oh, he was a hard man. He worked for Sketchley's and he used to keep the safety pins in his nose to stop them falling down behind the till. He dressed his kids in black plastic bags hoping that the bin men would take them away and he had the gift of the gob. At one point he was on more than a pint of Benelin a day and his expectations could drown a spaniel at 30 paces. Bayek, in them days we were poor but we knew how to wet a pal. I'm gonna risk losing you, and that's 
center of the city where our roads meet waiting for you to the depths of the ocean where our hope sank searching for you moving through the silence without motion waiting for you in a room with no window in the corner i found true The beat goes on.
And so there we have it, 1,500 years of music on Granada television, the glittering galaxy of stars that we call Big Beat Land, and I knew them all. The greats and the not-so-greats, the stars and the ones who didn't quite make it, the talented and the severely strange. Some of them are dead now. Some have moved on to fresher pastures and new kinds of music. People often come to me and they say, Alexi, of all the stars you knew who thought you were a fun guy and wanted to hang out with you and have your babies, who was the greatest of the greatest? And I say, oh, there's no question, Tully. The greatest of them all was our Billy. I remember the first time that Billy Holiday came into the Granada Studios. She was nervous, her face flushed with excitement and illegal drugs. I said, what are you going to sing for us tonight, Billy? She said, I'm going to sing a song about you, Alexi, you big porgy bastard. Man. 